PR, the hottest new show in primetime, and today, America's favorite morning show are live together. Meet the stars. Behind the scenes with Bryant and Katie, Thursday and Friday and today. On America Close Up tonight, keeping kids in school. There were three and a half million high school dropouts in 1991 alone. That's a problem for the kids and for the country. One solution, of course, is to turn them on to television in the right way. Let them produce it themselves. Here's NBC's Dawn Fratangelo. Something is happening in this television studio, and it may be one of the best-kept secrets in Chicago. Yes, I can hear you. Quiet on the set. <laughs> it's the cable access show Hardcover, now in its eighth year. It's produced entirely by at-risk inner-city teenagers. 19-year-old Miltron Brown has worked on Hardcover for four years. Testing, testing. He and 150 minority and low-income teenagers are the sound people, the camera operators, and editors at Community Television Network, which produces hardcover twice a month. It can be seen in 350,000 homes on Chicago's cable system. They say most blacks would be dead before they're 21, and or they're, they sell drugs, and they, all they do is gang bang. Through hardcover, I haven't done any of that. And that's the objective, to use video as a hook to get kids who've given up on education back in school. We're not teaching young people how to hold a camera. We're using the camera as a vehicle to understand their lives, their neighborhoods, and a positive future. Teacher Denise Zaccardi created the program, which cost $190,000 a year to operate. Funding comes from federal and corporate grants. It's television by teenagers for teenagers. The program's been nominated for News Emmys and has won national awards for tackling tough issues. This, this story is about my cousin. My cousin, you know, he got, he got murdered. What is it like to be a parent? Waleska well, Rosario can answer that. At 16, she had a child and dropped out of high school. She believes teenagers can cover issues affecting them better than many news organizations. Sometimes people don't give us a chance to, to show them what we know. I just don't think that's fair. We know a lot. Even though we're young, we do, we do know a lot. The students here echo a recent survey of young people about their attitudes of television news. 61% said their peers were most often portrayed as involved in crime or a victim of crime. Here at Hardcover, they're trying to change those perceptions. I'm Edgar Davis. And the program is also changing lives. After five years with hardcover, Edgar Davis has his GED and is now a music student at a local college. I'm more focused now as an individual. You know, I know what I want um, out of myself and, and what I expect out of other people. Miltron Brown is also getting focused. The program's counselors are helping him find a job. And you're looking for part-time? Full. Full-time. And Waleska has a lofty goal. I try to save up some money so I can go to college. And uh, my goal with that is to, uh, going to law school. We better get rolling. Through the years, 2,000 Chicago teenagers have worked on hardcover, which is now broadcast in Philadelphia and will soon air in Oakland. I'll clear that off, a sir. camera made I'm them see things know, differently. A microphone but has I'm given them a voice. You need to have a lot of patience. For America Close Up, Dawn Fertangelo, NBC News, Chicago. Something else on television live this morning.